The S in purpose stands for serve. Uh, this is an important one. Um, it, it really touches home with me. Um, we are in a line of business where we are expected to help people. Um, we might sell them a product or we might help them pick out a gift or sometimes people just, you know, they, they reach out to us because they need help financially. Um, either way you look at it, we are here to serve people. Um, instead of what can I get from this, uh, you know, I, I hear a lot of people, you know, when I'm talking about sass and brass um, or the opportunity, you know, like, well, what are the, what are the commissions or, you, you know, those things are important, you know, it, it's important for people to know what to expect and what they're going to get out of a company. Um, but don't just, I hope that you're not with um, SAS just because, you know, we pay our reps a lot of money, uh, we pay them daily, uh, we give out free prices. Yes, those are all great perks, but you have to have a bigger purpose. Um, you, you have to want to help people. Um, you have to love what you do. Uh, if you don't love what you do, you'll never be happy with it. Um, it's going to be a job to you. It's going to be something that you're going to, you know, eventually learn to hate. Um, and we don't want that. So I hope that the more majority of you um, really want to help others. Uh, no matter what it is. Whether it's just, you know, finding the perfect necklace to match a new top. Uh, to make a customer happy. Whatever it is, just just try to help people. Um, instead of saying, you know, what can I get out of this? Why don't you ask, what can I give to this person to make their day a little better? You know, because people are going to remember that. So if you go out of your way to help your customers and make them feel good about um, the situation or the purchase or whatever it is, I promise you, if you will do that, you're not only going to be making money, but you're going to be making relationships, um, friendships, uh, referral business, repeat customers, and customers that are actually going to brag on you. They're going to tell their friends, well, she is the sweetest person and she sells the most adorable clothing. You have got to call her. So make sure that when you're interacting with people, do not treat them like a transaction number. Do not treat them like four dollars worth of PayPal cash. You treat them like they are they are putting food on your table. You need to be super sweet, super helpful, um, make some friends. I encourage you. Um, I'm friends with a lot of my customers. Um, I may not have known them before they were customers but you know I, I got to know them you have to get to know your customers um, and if you do that they're like probably 70 to 80 percent more likely to come back to you for repeat business I mean the numbers are insane so try to do that try to you know just stop whatever you're doing get to know your customers a little bit um, make them feel good about their self or their purchase or whatever. Put a smile on their face. You know, that's what we're here for. To help people to sell an amazing product to amazing people. Um, so just stop and take the time to do that for me, okay?